Ladies and gentlemen, my name is not Paul Heyman, and I'm also not the advocate for the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar, but I am a fan, beast incarnate. All right, so today the real question is, what is Brock Lesnar going to do before, possibly, and after WrestleMania 31. That's the question on everyone's mind. Is he going to stay in the WWE, be the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, or is he going to go to the UFC? No one's for sure, not even Brock Lesnar. He might be the only one, but we're going to go over the options. But first, let's um, go over some recent news. There's been some news and chatter about the fact that Brock Lesnar and Vincent Mann got into a yelling match, and then Brock Lesnar was a no-show to Raw last week. And some people think, oh, no, that's not good. He might walk out on him. And then Brock Lesnar showed up at UFC 184 where Ronda Rousey whooped up on Kat Singano. Much respect to both of them. But he showed up and made everybody think, oh, no, he's definitely going to the UFC after WrestleMania 31. People are just speculating Nobody knows except for Brock Lesnar and maybe his wife, and they they even may not even know right now. They're still trying to juggle all this stuff. But I think, I think a lot of other people should think and do think that Brock Lesnar just showed up at UFC because he's friends with Dana White, and he can use it as kind of a bargaining bargaining chip with Vince McMahon to kind of be like, hey, look, I'm over here at UFC. Look at that. I didn't show up at your show. Did you pay me to go? But I go up to this free show. Over here at UFC 181, 84, I'm sure Dana White paid for his ticket, and if he didn't, it still worked out for him. It's a nice little bargaining chip for him. But, uh, yeah, so they said he was, everybody's afraid he's going to be a no show for WrestleMania. And if you know Brock Lesnar, you know the only reason he does wrestling or UFC is for the money. I can't blame him. I have my job. I don't do it because I love it. I do it for the money. And it's a lot less than what Brock Lesnar gets to fight and wrestle. So I can't blame him. There's a lot of people who wrestle and do it because they love to be res love to be wrestlers. And then there's people who do it to be make, make money. Brock Lesnar does it to make a lot of money. So he wouldn't just not show it to WrestleMania because it's in his contract. And if he didn't do that, there'd be a breach of his contract. And then he could get sued and lose a lot of money. As opposed to just showing up to WrestleMania. So... Never say never, but the chances of Brock Lesnar being a no-show at WrestleMania 31 are very slim. Like, minuscule. But alright, so we're going to go over the options real quick. That's the that's the news, recent news we got up to date right now as of March 4th, 2015. But the first option is going back to the UFC. I mean, he, that's, there's some pros to that and there's some cons to that. Pros would be It'd be an easy schedule. Like they usually fight like two, maybe three times a year, unless you're Donald Cerrone who fights every <laughs> card. He fights like 52 times a week, so it'd be easy for him. And he could also go back and they, the big matches. Like Frank Mir keeps calling him out because he knocks out Bigfoot Silva, so he thinks he's the world's greatest striker. Calm your, calm your nipples, there, Frank Mir. Okay, Bigfoot Silva's been knocked out plenty of times, and he's got a big, huge head. Like. That's like saying, oh, I can shoot that, that little grape because I shot a watermelon. No. Bigfoot Silva, I'm not making fun of you, but he looks like one of those Easter Island statues with the big <clears throat> big head. So to be able to say you hit Bigfoot Silva in the head, not that big of a compliment, okay? That's not that big of a deal. Like, woo So, yeah, it would just, I, if I was to predict, it would wind up like the first and second match against Muir where he takes him to the ground and starts beating the heck at him. The only reason Frank Muir beat Brock Lesnar the first time was because he uh, Brock Lesnar accidentally hit Muir in the back of the head. Ref stood him up. Frank Muir's really good at jiu-jitsu. Grabs Brock Lesnar's leg out of nowhere and gives him a knee bar and taps him out. And Steve Mazzagatti almost got Brock Lesnar's leg broke because he's the worst referee in the world. I don't care. There are blind referees who are better than this guy. They, I, I haven't seen him in a while. Maybe he's been fired. Thank you, Jesus. The the fighters really need need that. They don't need a stupid referee, like, stupid referee like Steve Mazzagatti. I can't even talk. It frustrates me so much because I'd hate to be a, a fighter in the UFC and look up on there and uh, Steve Mazzagatti. No, I'm gonna get hurt. But yeah, and he could also go for the belt. And if he does, and if he beats these people, here's the order I think. 
think his first match is Frank Mir for the rubber match. Then Alistair Overeem to see if he can beat him. If he beats him, then I believe if Cain Velasquez will ever fight, he'd fight Cain Velasquez for the belt. And this is all if Brock Lesnar is 100% and better than he was the first time. Granted, he did really good the first time, but he had the diverticulitis and that kind of messed him up. He was out, he was fought, he was out, he fought, he was out, just dealing with all that. And yeah, most people, a lot of people die from that, and he survived. And thank goodness, because I enjoy watching him fight and wrestle. But, and also, with the UFC, you get paid a lot of money. Like Brock Lesnar was a huge draw, so he gets a lot of money with that one. But some cons of that is he's 37, okay? He can't sustain too many head traumas, like hits to the head, or he could get concussed really bad and be <laughs> for the rest of his life. And nobody wants that. He's worked really hard for a long time, from wrestling and what have you, to be <laughs> for the rest of his life. As we saw, Anderson Silva, 38, broke his leg, came back, and barely was able to beat Nick Diaz. Yeah, Nick Diaz. I get the Diaz brothers mixed up. Yeah, so once you get older, you can't heal as quick, so he needs to figure out what he's going to do. He's not a young guy. If he's going to come back and go fight in the UFC, he needs to do it soon. He doesn't have to do it after WrestleMania 31, but he has to do it before he's 60. Like, he has to do it soon. Like, they said, he's 37 now. If he's 40, he's he, he probably has no shot at getting anything because once you get older, you don't heal as quickly. I'm 31, and I realize that now at 31 compared to 21, I don't heal as quickly. Alrighty, that's, that's the UFC option. I don't think... He's going to go to the USC. He might, but I don't think he's going to because they said there's too many cons to it, like getting paid the money. But he's all about the money, but there's too much to lose from that. His option two is if he stays with the WWE. There's there's the belt he currently holds. <clears throat> and a lot of people think, oh, Roman Reigns is going to beat him, and then he's gone. Well, he could beat him, and then he could have a rivalry with Daniel Bryan. They could finally have that huge... David and Goliath thing. It doesn't have to be for the title. Roman Reigns could have the belt and go and fight Seth Rollins or Randy Orton or whoever he wants to fight. And then Brock Lesnar has no problem, I'm sure, with fighting Daniel Bryan and making tons of money that way. If it's for the belt or not for the belt. The only belt I think he'd really care about is the UFC belt. Because that actually means you're the best. The WWE Championship belt doesn't mean you're technically the best heavyweight in the world. It just means you're the one that WWE wants the belt on. But, um, yeah, so there's plenty of things they could do for him in, in WWE if they wanted to keep him around, but that doesn't mean they're going to. I feel like that's the option he's probably going to do the most is wrestle with WWE, but then there's also option three, and that is to do WWE and the UFC, do part-time for both. But that doesn't seem too likely. Once again, I, I don't know. I wasn't there, but that feels like the whole why the screaming match between him and Vince McMahon was because Vince McMahon probably didn't want him fighting in the UFC and the WWE and whatever, that's understandable I guess I said, I mean, it feels like it would be a good promotion like to show show Bartlett in the UFC kicking butt and then have him in the WWE kicking butt too kind of, that's what helped him with his second run in the WWE it showed that, oh shoot, this guy can beat up Elise this is a former World Heavyweight Champion a legit one, not, not a shiny fake WWE champion, but it's not fake, it's whatever. But yeah, so, but that would be a good option. I'm sure, uh, sure Brock would love to do that, but I don't think that's going to happen either. And the fourth option that I think is possible is he just goes home. Like, he's 37, he's made way more money than I or probably you will ever make in your entire lives. He lives up in Minnesota, up next to Canada and everything. He has plenty of money to just relax and retire and do whatever he wants to do. I'm sure he wouldn't relax because he's just an active guy. He would be out plowing the field or whatever he's got to do, driving his truck, shooting deer and animals and things like that, hunting, enjoying the fruits of his labor. And if I was him, I'd probably do that, but I don't know. I don't have the drive that Brock Lesnar has. But, yeah, so, yeah, like... If I was him, that's what I would do. I would just retire, relax, go enjoy a little bit, take a year off if you need to, then maybe come back to the WWE next year. That'd still be cool. People would still know exactly who Brock Lesnar is, even if he took a year off. See if he likes doing that, because he could definitely do it. Unless if he's just blown all of his money, which I doubt, 
he can do that. Anyway, that is my thoughts on what's going to happen to Brock Lesnar after WrestleMania 31. Oh, one real quick thing. People keep thinking like WrestleMania 31 is the end. Like, that's the end of the book. It's like Hunger Games, the last one. Like, oh, there you can't re you can't undo it. No, this is wrestling in the UFC. It goes on and on and on. As long as there's a company, it's going to keep going. And at WrestleMania 31, that's not the end of WWE. And that's not the end of the UFC. So... There's still plenty of time. Everybody gets all like, oh no, he has to make a decision. Like, he could take a month off. He could take a week off. He could take th two years off. Brock Lesnar could go home for three years, come back at 40, and still be the beast incarnate at 40 and whoop up on people. He's not going to decay in three years. So, everybody needs to chill. He's going to make his decision. He's going to do what he wants to do. And I can't blame him. Whatever he does, it's his decision, his life. And. That's my thoughts. I'm, I'm curious to see what everyone else thinks, though. Do you think he's going to stay in the WWE? Go to the UFC? Do neither? Buy a ship and go out to sea? <laughs> I don't know what he's going to do. But I am curious to see what everyone else thinks. Because I want to see how right I am and how right you guys are after WrestleMania 31. I could be completely wrong. I could be completely right. But I'm betting he stays in WWE. That's my prediction. Does he have the belt? Maybe. Maybe not. Like I said, he doesn't need it to keep fighting. He still like said he could fight Daniel Bryan. He could fight anybody. He, he could beat a big show another thousand times. Whatever. Still, still great to see him do all kinds of crazy things with huge guys that I couldn't even imagine picking up and just throwing around like they're rag dolls. Anyway, that's my thoughts. You can subscribe right here. Yeah, you see that? That little thing right there says subscribe here. Click it. You won't regret it. And if you do, I'm sorry. I've let you down. Anyway, peace, my WWE and UFC fans. Later.